Sounds like we got a dog horde. Oh my goodness. Uh, we don't need that right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get these guys out of here. He's running away from us. <laughs> That's right, you better run away from us. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and our map is generated by nitrogen, and it is almost entirely made up of the wasteland. We do have one small green biome somewhere in this world that we are uh, on the hunt for, but we haven't found it yet. So we're just kind of uh, on the journey uh, to locate that place. All right, so um, let's see. Do I have... How are we doing on points? It looks like I just leveled. Have I spent... I do have a point. Okay. So what I want to do, I think, now is, you know, we, we kind of took a little bit of a sidetrack and got... Uh, the first two points in advanced engineering and grease monkey so that we could make uh, the workbench and the mini bike. And now that that's done, and I'll tell you what too, man, the mini bike has really changed things for me <laughs> a big in a big way. So, you know, we're still, we're still in a very dangerous biome, of course, and all kinds of bad stuff can happen, but the mini bike has made it just a little bit easier, just a little bit easier. Um, so anyway, uh, what I want to do is I want to um, get back to the perception tree and get Lucky Looter and Salvage Operations up to at least level 4 and probably eventually even level 5. Um, in that process, I might go ahead and take one point in lockpicking just because lockpicking is a little more quiet than using an auger to open a safe. And we, are, you know, we do need to stay stealthy. Um, and the, um, let's see... We could put some points into Deadeye, particularly, you know, if we come across a, a decent sniper rifle at some point, and definitely we'll be putting points into Demolitions Experts. So there's a lot of stuff in this tree that, you know, that's worthwhile. Um, we're also going to continue putting points into Strength. Uh, I got one point in 69er and Motherload now. Um, we're going to need to put more points in Sexy T and in Boomstick and in Skull Crusher. So a lot of stuff in the Strength tree. Of course, Agility too is important. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to put one point into Gunslinger at some point, um, and Hidden Strike and From the Shadows, because I would like to, in the end game here in this series, my plan is, anyways, to kind of go with more of a stealthy build. I'm usually kind of a tanky, you know, shoot 'em up type of build when I, when I play on these settings and, you know, put all the heavy armor on, but I think, you know, and we, we are going to use heavy armor and guns, uh, particularly now, but in the end game... I would like to try and do more of a stealthy approach, and we'll see how that goes, because that's not something I've really done in this game, uh, or at least not for a long time. Okay, anyway, enough about the skills. Um, so we do have a point, and I'm going to put that point into Lucky Looter. Uh, no, I'm not. I need... To, oh, shit, there's a dog. I need to put another point into Perception first. Okay. And then, <coughs> excuse me, Perception itself gives us more, you know, headshot damage and dismember with rifles, explosives, and spears. I'm really enjoying the, the steel sledgehammer, but, you know, we should probably think about upping our, our spear skill, too, a little bit more. Uh, anyway, all right, we got zombies coming in. Um, we got an egger over there and a dog over there. So maybe we should kill both of them first before we get started in earnest here. And we'll leave this platform out here so it's available to us to use if we you know get overrun by Zekers on the inside okay so let's use our crossbow oh the other thing I was going to tell you guys is that oh shit um Edgar's going to get out of range okay well let's kill a dog because I don't want these guys wandering around out here while we're trying to break in in here so we gotta we gotta get rid of them um, I've got a bunch of gunpowder cooking up. When we, uh, when I last, I think it's when I last left you. I, I don't remember now, actually. But, uh, this mine, which was that little nitrate mine over by, um, uh, no, it's right here. 
over by this was the first cabin that we took over like on episode two and there's a nitrate mine that mine actually has all four ores in it uh including coal which was a huge find so uh i mined up a whole bunch of nitrate and a whole bunch of coal and got some lead and iron out of that mine too and so we've got a bunch of gunpowder cooking up in the kim bench back of the base which is fan freaking tastic so now we can start making a decent supply of ammo all right let's get a edgar killed here because he's going to cause us trouble otherwise he likes to do that. He's good at causing trouble, man. I'll tell you what. Aren't you, Edgar? You little bastard. Actually, he's kind of a big bastard. Oh! I didn't let it reload quickly enough. There we go. Okay, any more zombies or dogs in the near vicinity? We do have Skater Punk over here. Come here, buddy. Let's put you out of our misery. All right, you can stand there and take shots behind the chain link. That's fine with me. Excellent. Okay, so so he's out of the way. I don't see any more Z's or dogs or bears or any land creatures. We got the damn buzzards, of course, but uh, I think we're okay otherwise. So let's see. Let's get the hammer and repair this, and then we'll put a a crate down. Uh, I guess we'll have to put it right there. Let's harvest this. Fido here. And then we're going to go do the Shotgun Messiah. Just going to move that over a little bit. Oh shit! I forgot about that. You son of a... Make anybody else's attention? Yeah, you gotta watch that, man. As soon as you get on, on, on a vehicle, those buzzards are on your ass. Sounds like we got a dog horde. Oh my goodness. Uh, we don't need that right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get these guys out of here. He's running away from us. <laughs> That's right, you better run away from us. I want to pull them all. Oh shit, he's coming. I want to pull them all away from the... the shotgun messiah. Oh wow, they're still coming. I like to stay on the roads as much as possible. You know, I did discover something, though. Though this isn't something I would deliberately take a chance with. But if you're moving quickly enough and you hit a landmine on the mini bike, you know, it takes a half a second or so for it to actually um, detonate. And you're usually, you know over the top of it and a couple of feet away by that time. You still take some splash damage, but it's not quite... doesn't seem to be like the full damage. So, you know, that's a good thing, of course. But like I said, I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't deliberately run over a landmine just to test that theory. It just... Yeah, that's just what happened the last time it, it happened, and maybe I just got lucky too, I don't know. Alright. Are those damn dogs out away from here now? Those running hordes, man, there's not, there's very few things that are more frightening than the running hordes. Because they could come at any time. That's what killed us the last time, in fact. Do I have another buzzard around? Did I see a shadow? No, I don't see it. Okay. If those dogs are still around, we might need to try and break in in the back. I think we probably got them out of the way, though.
No, nope, they're still around. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we. I'm. Let's go. Let's go break in through the back. My experience with you know these wandering hordes is they don't go away. You know they 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 run towards you or a little ways past you if they don't see you and then they stop and just wander around in the area. Uh, okay, well yeah we're gonna have to go through the back then. So let's do this. I'm gonna uh, do a bandage. And a pill. Depending upon how our time goes, um, I'm also... Uh, we might go uh, raid that bunker too. We'll see though. I've, I'm really uh, pretty much trying not to be out at nighttime uh, in the wasteland. It is just so dangerous. Because, I mean, you get, you get the bad stuff. You know, like... Bo uh, I've, I've seen boss buzzards out. I've seen, uh, you know, whites, cops, or irradiateds. You know, they just throw the nasty stuff out at you in this biome at nighttime. So, and, and, and you know, most of the zombies are a good percentage of the zombies that are walking around are feral on top of all that. So, it is just no joke. No joke at all. Okay, let's put those in there too. All right, so if... Things go really bad for us. We we can escape on our bike, so we don't need to really worry about busting the ladder. But let's see uh, what kind of trouble we can get into here. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna make a whole bunch of ammunition. Uh, you know, when tonight when I get back to the base, because we'll have all the gunpowder, and I've <coughs> you know been processing brass and lead. So we should be good to go with that. All right, let's um. Let's put that down there. Uh, actually, no. Let's put the hammer on our toolbar so we can repair because we're going to have to put a block down. Okay. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Military guy. We'll put these down kind of as a double protection. It's kind of interesting how his AI switches when these are put down. Ooh, nice! I'll take that for sure. Those dogs are making me nervous. Come on, man. Do us both a favor and just die. Goodness gracious. We need a drink, don't we? There we go. Okay. So, let's break this block here. Right, okay, so this is the smaller room. Wait a minute, though. Is this a big shotgun massage store? Yeah, I think it is the big store. So there's going to be a... Uh, yeah, there's going to be like a, uh, a shooting range back that way. Yeah, I hear those dogs, man. Okay, so we got three shoddy crates and a, a working forge, or not forge, a uh, workbench. However, we've already passed the point at which we were looking for those. So, we are going to wrench this, and we'll get some iron ingots and uh, mechanical parts and a couple other good things.
13 iron ingots. Nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I will take both of those things. All right. That's good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and loot these. Okay. Blue leather armor. What? Wow, that was odd. <laughs> the box is there, but it disappeared. <laughs> I'm like going, what in the world? Okay, and now it reappears. Oh, wow, that's bizarre. It freaked me out because I thought maybe I had destroyed it, you know? Um, this is not even close to as good as what we have. I'm just going to scrap this club outright. All right, so um, let's punch a hole through here. So we got one sleeper there. You know what, though? Um, there's one crate right behind here. We might be able to get to it. We don't even have to go in this room. Well, not the back, back part of it anyway. All right. Three repair kits. That's not bad. Dogs are out there raising a ruckus. Okay, let's um let's put the hammer. I don't know if those guys are going at it from the front or what. Okay, is it just the military guy or is there another Oh nice, that's concrete. Okay. That buys us a little bit of time. Um let's grab this. And can we actually <laughs> can we actually sneak this in there and set it on the floor? I think we can. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm trying to pull it as far back as I can. Oh <laughs> it can't quite reach him. Okay, here. Can we uh put it up here? Here. There we go. Okay, let's pick the turret up. I'm trying to get him preferably down on the floor here. Okay. These guys will break those blocks fast, so I don't want to... Oh, is he going to come down here now? Yeah, come this way. Oh, nope. He's pretty smart. Smarter than we're giving him credit for, isn't he? Alright. Uh, let's get this. I'm going to put that there for the moment, but I'm not going to upgrade it quite yet. Toilet pistol! Alright, is it better than the one we have? This is our pistol. It is not. Well... Except for we do have a mod on ours. Uh, I suppose it would be worth it to pull the mod off and do an actual real comparison. Okay, so this is our pistol. No, it's not. Okay. 
Now we know. Let's just uh, scrap that guy. Let's get rid of this and this and this. We got tons and tons of lead. We don't need hay bales. Uh, le leather leg armor. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrap that. Remember, we don't have access to a trader, so there's just no point in holding on to stuff that we could sell later. There is one trader on the map, and he's supposed to be in or very near the green biome. So once we find him, then we will start doing that. But I have no, I do not have the room to carry that stuff around until then. And that could be a long time, too, <laughs> before we find that guy. Okay, so um, I think we're ready to start moving out to the front. So let's uh, break this. And I'm going to pick this back up. Okay. Just going to poke our head out here and take a look-see. Yeah, just sleep her up on the cabinet there. Let's make some noise. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, he's a barrel, shit. Well, well, our, uh, our turret got quite a few shots off on him. All right, that worked out good. Nobody else, huh? That was a lot of noise we just made. Just checking, checking our weapons here, making sure everything's loaded. Okay. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. He must have got caught on the counter or something, and the turret just blasted him. Uh, all right, let's put this back here. And then we're just going to very carefully stay crouched. There. Uh, look at all the dogs out front there. That sucks. Uh, we need to also check the upper part of the shelves because sleepers often will. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, okay, I don't think I want to try and sneak past her. <coughs> All right, that's a lot of them. See if we can get at least soften them up a little bit. All right, just big mamas left. Very nice. <coughs> okay, I think that uh, does it for the ones in the front room. There could be some up at the very near front, though, so we still have to be careful. Getting low on shotgun shells too, but like I said, we're going to make a bunch of that stuff up when we get back to the base. We might even find ammunition here too, because this is a shotgun Messiah after all. We're also running out of daylight. We do have the one sleeper in the back there too, which... Sure... She's going to wake up. Okay, let's go to the front and make sure the front's secure. Probably going to get the dog's attention, but 
The front of this store is pretty stout. It'll take them a while to break in. Okay, I think we're good. Let's start looting. Freaking dog horde. Yeah, he heard that. Just to give ourselves a little extra, let's put those up there. Okay, let's just move. I don't want to waste time with them because we gotta go. We're out. We're running out of time. Oh, nice. Shut up. If you do manage to break through here, you're dead. Got some shotgun shells with your name on it. Fido. Fido and Fido. Oh yeah, it's going to take them a long time to break through the bars there. Okay, let's hit the crates. Okay, more 9mm ammo, that's always good. Oh, now they're at that door. Shit. If I had a little bit more firepower, I would have just killed all those dogs, but... That happened to me, too, in Life 5 of my Dead is Dead series. I wasn't quite at the place where I could afford to just go shoot up a bunch of dogs, and they showed up and were just a big pain in the ass. All right, let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of this. Okay, we're gonna scrap these. And we're gonna get rid of the jars too, okay. That sound effect, man, is so scary. <laughs> Time to be thirsty right now, game. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. There we go. More shoddy shells. Nope. Don't need those. All right, let's scrap a doodle both of these to save a spot or gain a spot. Now there's um, there are safes and lockers back there. I hope those dogs aren't close to breaking through, or we might be in trouble here. In fact, you know what we should probably do. Just in case. Well, you guys are trying to come up there. All right, we're going to probably have to use a, a gun on these guys because, uh, like I said, we're just we're running out of time. Dog, stop. Okay. All right. Um, let's block that. And uh, since we cleared this room, we'll just go back through that way. Uh, you know what, though? We, we're we out of room. We got to we gotta drop some stuff off. Quick, 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 quick. No, don't go that way. Better 
footsteps. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go. Gotta hurry. We still gotta get that damn safe open, too. Cowboy hat mod. That actually might come in quite handy. Um, let's just block this off. And we have, uh, we have seven lockpicks. Okay, we have a pretty good chance of breaking into this with the lockpicks. Come on, lockpicks. Is gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? Oh, you son of a! Ah, all that effort for just that stuff? Oh well. Not terrible, but not what I would have wanted to pick. Okay, so we have pretty much finished Shaka Messiah. Um, there are, are probably a couple of. AC's on the roof, but there's also going to be Zekers up there. Let's just take a quick look-see. Okay, there's a Sleepy right there, and there might be one back that way too. So are we fully loaded here? Oh, we're not. Oh, there's three. Shit. Okay. Line up those heads. We're good? Okay. Whew. All right. Um, I probably wouldn't have come up here and expended the ammo on, on this if uh, I didn't have a bunch of ammo ready to be made up back at the base, so... We should be getting to the point in, the, in our playthrough where ammo's no longer going to be super scarce. We still don't want to waste it, but it, it should, you know, free us up a little bit. Stupid dogs. All right, good. So we got two radiators out of that deal. All right, guys. That is it for the Shotgun Messiah. And uh, unless I come across a crack of book, which I don't think I'm going to because I've pretty much explored this whole town, uh, I would like to hit that bunker. Um, so I'm going to do that later. Uh, where the hell's the ladder? Oh, it'd be kind of hard to see sometimes. And I've, I've thought about maybe sticking around this town until the next Horde Night. And if I do that, I won't, uh, I won't show all of the rest of that on camera. But what I might do is I might stick around here, because it's day uh, 18, so we'd have... Basically, we'd have three more days. And I could just spend all that time, you know, mining and looting some of the other uh, POIs, that kind of thing, leveling up a couple more points. Um, and then we would do the Horde Night on day 21, and we'd go, we'd go um, fix up our base, because I've got lots of concrete now. And then do the Horde Night, and then after that, uh, plan on uh, leaving. So, I don't know, I haven't decided that yet. If we if we if we leave now, you know, we'd still have three days of exploration, and we can always find a stout POI to deal with the horde, especially in the early game. You know, we're, the horde twenty one, the third horde is not going to be that bad. What is our game stage is at? Yeah, game stage seventy. Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. 
So I don't know. I'll think about that, and I'll definitely let you guys know, of course, what the what the decision is. Oh, I should have put this stuff in there while I was down there. Duh. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And uh, I'm just going to do some mining tonight and make a bunch of ammo, and we'll see you in uh, probably in the morning. And I'll let you know what's going to happen. Okay, bye-bye.